Is it early? Yes. Did I want to sleep in today? Yes. Am I tired? Hell yes. But did I go to the gym? Hell yeah, brother. Hey, Richard. Reach high at the top. You got it. That's it. Nice. Nothing more powerful than not hitting that snooze button, getting your butt out of bed, and doing something early in the morning. Today we have just strength, so no running. Monday morning, heavy squat sesh, and push press. And we did a crazy intense uh, conditioning that included a 40 cal bike, and then um, it was broken up, but basically 110 double unders and 110 nice job, nice uh, wall job. balls. So wall pretty ball intense. I feel good though. We uh, on Get the squats we worked up to a hundred or a, a high, like a heavy weight up to 98 percent of our five rep max. So we've been doing this build over the last probably a couple months. Um, we have about five to six or so lifts that we're doing that we're we're building and building. So. The fact that that at 98% didn't feel extremely heavy, like it didn't feel like 98%, um, is just, just a good sign that we're getting stronger. All right, Monday morning, done. I say it every Tuesday, and it's the truth every Tuesday that I love these OBJ days because it's just straight up strength. Uh, we did today cleans, hang cleans, and who doesn't love a heavy hang clean anyways? Hang cleans, we did uh, deadlifts to the high hang position. We did Romanian deadlifts, uh, barbell shrugs, shrugs, I think I whistled when I said that, barbell shrugs, and then barbell rows to just work on that back. And after this, we did, uh, I, I really like this. It's like a low intensity. You just bike or row for uh, 75 seconds. And then we did the farmer's carry with uh, a dumbbell, like the heaviest dumbbell you could. And of course, all the guys are picking up the weights today. Uh, we were doing, I think like the 100 pound uh, dumbbell up and down. It was a fun, fun Tuesday morning. It's raining here, which is awesome because it's been dry. It's just a great day. It's a great day to get a workout done early. So we're heading back to the house. I gotta get some food, get breakfast going. I'm starving. And then we have uh, five miles on the calendar for later today. So get that done. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday, five miles. We'll see how far we can go before it starts dumping. It's been raining all day. Aren't these sunglasses ridiculous? I do like to wear them while I'm running. It's about the only time I would wear them. Out here getting five miles in. Beautiful day. Best thing about today is it's not hot. It's kind of cloudy and rainy. It's kind of nice. Nice change from the pace of just, you know, miserably hot summer. I changed my shoes out. My other ones, they're ultras. They're the, the Torin like series. And they're mainly for, for road running like this. And they have 708 miles on them. And you can tell they've got holes in them and everything. So I went back to the Lone Peaks that I have on now, which they're for trail and off-road, but it's okay for now. They feel good. They feel way better. Those torrents I have are just, they're flat. They've been, they've been beat down for 700 miles. Getting a little mid-run stretch on this pipe here. Just still trying to keep on top of that hamstring, how it's been kind of tight. I've got some, some fuel with me. This is a Larbar, the blueberry one. I love these ones. Continuing to, 
to fuel myself. And that's kind of what I talked about in the, the very first video was that's something I'm gonna pay attention to more this time around is, is eating and trying to keep those calories going and, and not doing these runs with, with nothing, you know, just water. So I actually stopped, took an opportunity to stretch, keep my hammies loosened, grab some calories. And I've been carrying, I have a like a hydration vest, but for these shorter runs that are like single digit, like today, uh, five, I'm just carrying this this uh, this soft flask with me. I don't need I kind of anything under ten. I mean, it really depends on what the temperature is, but anything under ten miles, um, just this one should be fine. Um, once I start to get into the runs that are over ten, I'll wear my hydration vest and everything. It's just I'm trying to go lightweight right now, not carry a bunch of stuff, especially this time of the year. Well, except for today because it's raining, but. It's usually really hot this time of the year, and I just don't want all that extra weight and, and stuff on me. So I've been kind of stripping down and just taking the one flask and um, making sure this is uh, 500 microliters. I've been making sure that on these runs, even if I don't feel like I need to be drinking, I'm making sure that I am drinking. And by the time I get back to the house, that this is done. So... So many times it's like when your body's finally telling you like, hey, I'm thirsty, it's you're already past the point of needing water. So I'm always trying to keep water and keep calories uh, through these training runs because the day of the race is gonna be very important to keep up on my fluids and calories. So practice like you play, right? Starting to come down now. Nice little cool off, I guess. A couple more miles, we'll be back to the house. Five miles, done. So today's Wednesday. Yesterday we had that heavy OBJ operation backjack. And last night I was gonna um, go to the gym this morning at five, but last night I had that. And, and I've, I've done this enough times, I've trained enough times to where I can tell the difference between, um, oh, I'm just tired and I don't wanna go to the gym, but you make yourself go and my body actually needs to rest and repair. So after those heavy deadlifts and Romanian deadlifts yesterday, my hamstring, my right hamstring that's been kind of giving me issues, it was just super tight last night. I had been stretching um, kind of later into the evening to try to loosen it up. And I actually um, went to, when I went to bed, I put on some like muscle relaxing, um, like cream, I guess. And that felt good, it really heated it up. And today it feels way better, but I did not go to the gym this morning. I'm gonna give myself a 100% rest day. Wednesday, I didn't have a run scheduled for today anyways. Um, I did have the gym scheduled, but I'm just go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the whole day off. Um, I've been rolling out. I've got um, a lacrosse ball and another big ball that I kind of put against the wall and, and rub. Uh, try to just loosen my muscles up. I've been stretching. I'm going to be doing more stretching just throughout the day uh, just to try to break that up and, and get it feeling a little bit better. It does feel good today. It does feel better, but I just did not want to push it. So Wednesday, we're not doing anything except stretching, which is important. So right now I've got some uh, chicken thighs on the barbecue. We're eating some food, high protein, high calories, repairing the body. It's important. Thursday morning. Today is row and flow with taking all of yesterday off besides 
you know, stretching as much as I could and doing some uh, some mobility on my hamstring and my my hips and stuff. It felt good to just do the row and flow class today. Um, this morning we did 2,000 meter row, 125 uh, single unders, and then 50 ab mat sit ups, and then 2,000 meters on the ski machine. Whoa, big bumps. And then another 125 uh, single unders and 50 ab mat sit ups. And it, it just felt good to warm my body up and just move through the, the motions and, you know, not lift anything extremely heavy to kind of strain my hamstring. So it feels way better, uh, especially after all the mobility yesterday. And then we always finish the Thursday class with, uh, again, what's called ROMWAD, which is a range of motion workout. So it's just, it's almost like a yoga or stretching. Um, so that is always nice to end the day with. And then next up, we've got seven miles today. Let's do it. After we get done with the row and flow, we do something called a ROMWAD, which is a range of motion WAD workout of the day. And it's really just going through various stretches. You're holding these stretches for up to three minutes. And it's just a good way to complete a Thursday, which is more of a low intensity day. So every morning we get home from the gym, I do um, a scoop of creatine and a scoop of protein. Mix that up, which I've already done. And I always do this every morning when I get back. Okay, protein down, creatine down. Another thing I do when I get home from the gym is this. Every morning we have, uh, my wife and I have coffee out back and try to hang out and talk to each other and enjoy each other's presence before the kids get up or before the kids come outside. So we try to soak up at least 10 minutes before the day gets too crazy. All right, Friday morning, we're out here trying to get some miles in before work. So yesterday, Thursday, I was supposed to run uh, in the evening after work and my wife's, uh, her parents came by uh, both riding motorcycles and then they let us take one for a spin. So kind of killed my running plans for yesterday, but that's all right. Today was a rest day for running, so we're out here now getting it done, getting it done early before work. Here we go, putting it in. Okay, on the way to the gym, it's Friday, baby. Here we go. Ran this morning, got that done with. Now we're heading to the gym on my lunch break. We're gonna do some overhead squats and then a crazy uh, snatch conditioning workout. Should be fun. Wish me luck. Sit. All right, Richard, good. Okay, just got back from the gym, we did. Uh, again, overhead squats, and we worked up to a heavy um, set of three, and they felt good. So I went ahead and actually set a new five rep uh, PR at 175, which the weight to like squat that amount of weight, that doesn't feel heavy, but when you're doing overhead squats, it's all about like your shoulder mobility and being able to keep that weight overhead. Um, but it felt good, so I went ahead and set a new PR, so pretty excited about that. Then the conditioning workout had uh, some snatches in it and they got extremely heavy for me. They went up to um, the last five were 165 pounds. And thinking back, I don't think I've ever snatched that much of weight. Um, but with that 175 overhead squat, I felt comfortable with that amount of weight overhead. And I tried and I was not able to get uh, 165 during that workout. So I, I stripped the bar off and drop back down to 145 and they still felt um, pretty heavy, but you know, like doable for me. So definitely getting stronger. I can definitely feel that, uh, but all in all a pretty dang good day with a PR. So that's awesome.
Friday done. Okay, Saturday, 10 miles. It's just after eight. It's about 75 degrees, so it's actually a pretty nice day. I've got um, today, since we're 10 miles, basically in the double digits, I've got my full um, race vest on with water and some food. I'll go through that a little bit later, show you what I got, but here we go. Sitting here on this pole, stretching out my calves. They're very tight right now. Man, those things are tight. So since we're doing 10 miles today, I got like my full uh, like race gear on or, you know, like race prep. Um, two 500 milliliter soft flasks. One's just water. And then the other one is Tailwind, which is uh, it's like an endurance fuel, has both calories and carbs so I always do that you know one water one tailwind uh, on longer runs so along with that tailwind I also have the BPN field bar a cliff bar and then another one of those BPN uh, go gels so oopsie dropped it so I also had, uh, before we left, three packets of oatmeal. So I'm also going to kind of do, um, you know, just like kind of just experimenting with food and stuff, trying to get as many calories and carbohydrates as I can on a 10 mile loop. So this 10 mile loop and today I'm running five miles away from the house and then I'll go five miles back. Um, but the, the 100 mile race that I signed up in for, I signed up for later in November, it's a 100 mile race and it's 10, well, it's basically nine 10 mile, 10 plus mile loops. And then you do a shorter loop to finish up the 100 miles, but basically it's 10 mile loops. So I need to really dial in how much food I need to consume over a roughly 10 mile loop. So with all this, um, I think I'm at just over 1200 calories and 230 carbs. So if this is roughly two hours, that's roughly 100 carbs an hour, uh, which would be, which would be perfect, I think, I hope. So. It's definitely a lot more than I've done in the past, and that's the goal is more carbs, more carbs, keep that body fueling. But that's what we gotta do. We gotta try it out, see how it works. Okay, this marks halfway, we're at five miles. I have the, uh, the BPN uh, field bar, and now I'm gonna have the, the Go Gel. And then in about two and a half miles, I'll do the, um, the cliff bar. That'll be all my food. Then we'll see how I feel at the end. Halfway. Okay, at seven and a half miles of this 10 mile run. So I'm gonna finish up uh, the food I brought eating this cliff bar. It's a, it's a humid day. It's not very hot. I think the temperature is 79, but the humidity is 81% and it just, it's a thick soup out here, that's for sure. This entire shirt is, is wet. But I'm feeling good, so this has been a good run so far. I'm glad I've gotten all this food down. That's been kind of the plan of the day. Uh, the one hard thing about, and you know, they always say practice your, your food or whatever you're gonna eat to fuel yourself. Uh, practice it on training runs because you know, you don't know how that you'll react to the food come race day. 
one thing I always keep in mind is running makes you kind of like have like dry mouth. So eating stuff, especially like a granola type bar, if you will, um, if it's really dry, it's going to be really hard to get down, at least for me. And uh, you just, you don't want to run through all your water trying to choke a granola bar down. These cliff bars, they're not bad. They're a little more uh, like bendy and gooby. So they're not horrible, but just keep that in mind. Unless you are at an aid station and you can eat actual food, get down a bunch of water and then fill up your, uh, you know, the, the bladders you're carrying so you'll have water. Just, it's always my fear running out of water, but uh, today we're doing good. And I'll make sure I drink all this water before I get back to the house. All right, seven and a half, here we go. <sighs> 10 miles done, all food eaten, all liquids drank. That was my goal. 10 miles in the double digits, feeling good though. Sunday, sun's coming up, going by the Longhorns that we live by. Just saw, um, I think it was 16 uh, wild pigs out there rooting around and stuff. But Sunday, okay, we got five miles today. Gonna knock that out. And then that will be the end of the week. Here we go. All right, Sunday, all done. Okay, week three in the books. I've got meat on the barbecue, just sitting here relaxing. I feel overall good about week three. We hit all our runs and we um, got somewhere in like, I think 23 miles or so on our runs. We hit three strength and conditionings and one of the row and flows. I did take Wednesday off, completely off. No working out, no running, just stretching and rolling out my hamstring, which have been bothering me and it's it's a lot better now i'll still take it a little bit easy when we do things like deadlift um and things that use the hamstring so i'll kind of take it easy but all in all we got all our runs in which is a huge success and we'll just take this momentum and continue on to week four mm -hmm. 